everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm just gonna do a quick video um, about what's coming up for the channel different projects and I wanted to get some feedback and opinions from you guys um, first things first here is one of the projects that I will be doing within the next month or so this will be a weaved wreath so I will be using the nautical rope to weave the entire wreath base and I will be decorating it. So that's one of the projects that I'm working on. I first started doing the rope weaving with my cross wreaths. I showed, um, I showed that on the channel. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it somewhere over there. <laughs> but I think it's going to be really pretty. Um, some of the projects I have coming up that I really want to do. I've seen tons of YouTube videos on different ideas for wreaths, of course. YouTube University. I saw a, a beach theme wreath that I loved. Um, also, I saw a cross wreath that I wanted to try. I've made two of them so far. One of them with the deco mesh, the blue and white one. Um, I'm going to leave pictures. I also have my rope weave wreath that I did with the rope and the pink bow and burlap and all that. But I wanted to try one, but I wanted to use the poly burlap. So I wanted to do the petal form, basically uh, shape it like a petal and go up and over. I've seen the video and it's hard to explain, but I'm going to show y'all uh, in a video on what I'm talking about. Basically all you do is get your poly burlap and you use your wood burner to cut the mesh in 10 by 10 squares and you fold over and make petals out of them and go all the way over the wreath frame. So I'm going to be doing that next. Also, I went to Dollar Tree and I finally found some of these grass wreath rings. Now, when I first started looking up different ideas for wreaths, I saw a cool video where she used these wreath rings. I believe the middle one made a beautiful wreath. I don't remember anything else about it. I just knew I had to buy these because I was like, I'm going to try that. I just need to find those brass wreath rings. Found up, completely forgot what it looked like, but I will be back at YouTube University looking for that video because I just know I want to try it. <laughs> also y'all, guess what? My birthday is in two days. I will be going on an eight day cruise. So this video will be up probably right after my cruise but I'll be going on a day cruise to the Caribbean on Carnival Cruise happy birthday to me I will be y'all ever get so old you start needing a calculator and start carrying ones and twos and stuff let's see mm, 43 <laughs> 43. I'm just playing. I knew my age. Me and my mama calculated it the other day. We did have to figure it out though. <laughs> but also, I want to know what type of wreaths y'all want to see on the channel. Me, I really like making my paint stick wreaths, but I also like my new weaving crosses and weaving um, round frames and I'm really extra. Some of the wreaths I make, I'll be like, this probably will be pretty good with just half of what I'm using, but I'll be like, nah. So I'm extra. Do y'all like the really extravagant wreaths or just really simple? Um, also, a wreath that I really do like, um, I made it for my channel. It was a fall, an uh, eight inch frame wreath, a small one. That video did really good. I was surprised. I didn't think many people would like the 8 inch, but I was like, oh, this is neat for, you know, maybe a kid's bedroom or just something small to decorate your house with, indoor or outdoor. But 
that video did really good. Um, I was thinking about making more of the 8 inch wreath. So I just really want to get opinions on what y'all like. Um, I think the most popular type of wreaths are Christmas wreaths, of course. Um, people, I come to realize, really like the Valentine and Easter ones. I just started making wreaths back in like September, October. So I don't know if uh, like 4th of July Patriot type wreaths do good. And um, I have an entire bin over there. Most of my haul um, mesh that I got from the antique mall, it was 4th of July, like red, white, and blue, um, red and blue, red, blue, and burlap, all 4th of July. So come 4th of July, Memorial Day, 4th of July, y'all are going to see some wreaths out of this channel going all out. <laughs> But I really want to know what type of wreaths y'all like to see. If y'all like the paint stick, if you like the crosses, if you like the round uh, 14 inch or like the bigger uh, maybe 18 inch ones, the greenery ones. I'm also going to make uh, grapevine wreaths. I've never made one of those before. And the grapevine that I have over there needs some work. So I'm going to be painting it and adding all kinds of floral. I'm, I'm going to try to go all out on that one. But... Y'all just let me know what y'all want to see and I'll see if I can make it happen. But um, also, I was thinking about making um, like birthday month wreaths. I haven't seen any of those. That's, I think I made it up. It could be floating around on YouTube. Could be on YouTube and been on there forever and a day. But I was like, I want to do a birthday wreath. I don't have time to make one uh, before I leave on the cruise. But I wanted to do something like this is my birthday month type wreath or happy birthday or something like that something real festive and some people celebrate their birthday you know for a weekend some for a week some for a whole month so also um i was thinking about doing like a cinco de mayo type uh wreath you know something real festive for the different um holidays cinco de mayo um for pride month doing a you know, a birthday month brief, and also, um, of course, 4th of July, and I was going to make some grapevine wreaths. I also like themed ones like bumblebees, um, what was the other one? It was bumblebees, of course, a dog one. I'm a dog lover. I have a pit bull and a pit bull German Shepherd. I'm going to make, um, a doggy wreath, and there was another one, um, uh, that people go nuts over. Of course, they like they pooches. The bumblebee. The nautical. Like, um, you know, nautical theme, anchors, lighthouse, um, seashore. Those type seem to be very popular. And I wanted to make one of each one of those at least. Um, also, M Mother's Day. The blue and white wreath that I made, the cross, the first one, that's going to be uh, for my grandmother's this grave site. Uh, they're going to go, I believe, on Mother's Day and take it down there to her because her birthday is in October. So they wanted to go for Mother's Day. So I have that one for that. And also I wanted to make some more cross wreaths that are more like memorial. I saw an angel wreath. They took a heart frame, split it, and then did these little petals for the left side of the wing and the right one. I cannot remember that YouTuber's name, but she is detailed. I mean, detailed. Me, not so much, but I wanted to try to make a version of that. Hers is meticulous. I mean, she just exact. Wood burner, I mean, exact. That's not me, y'all. <laughs> but I'm going to do the best I can do and see how y'all like it. But if y'all have any suggestions on what I can make, what type of wreaths y'all like and want to drop them below, please do because I want more ideas and I want to start making more stuff that y'all like. I have hit over 550 subscribers. Thank each and every one of y'all. Next goal is 1,000. When I hit 1,000 subscribers... More than likely, I won't be monetized or anything. I just want a 1,000 subscribers. 
So I will be doing a drawing for a wreath or if I'm making some other project, maybe an apron or a tote bag, whatever I might happen to be making. I'll let y'all choose on if y'all want like a tote bag or a wreath or a bunch of scrunchies or apron or whatever. Your girl is versatile. I can make different stuff. So when I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be doing that giveaway. So make sure y'all subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I had to slip that shameless plug in there and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.